Greetings everybody, Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap on my way to see if I can find Terrence who has ordered a pastry finder the mini and also Kevin should be out there so I can deliver his trap back to him and so we'll see if we can find him. We gotta be out here somewhere. <laughs> and we'll catch in a little bit. found Terrence <laughs> and he's got as many and he's running it and look at this red material he's found we're at no tell him Creek of course man look at that red red the better good stuff. Now he's finding some pretty good stuff here definitely got his dad Jim up there Working up above, doing a pan right now, and I'm set up above him. A little waterfall. See what we can find. All right, so we'll keep you posted. All right, so Terrence just did his first, very first clean out with the uh, pay streak finder. A lot of little stuff in there, even down in the uh, the black sands and stuff. There's a lot of small stuff that went down as he was panning it, I'm sure. But I'm sure he keeps his concentrates and runs them. Of course. Some nice stuff and a lot of red color in it because of what he's into right now. Which we're not even going to show you because, like we said, it's no tell him creek, so. <laughs> but... Definitely some nice gold up here. And I'm working in, uh, doing a little bit of cracking. There's a piece of bedrock over there with some nice spaces in between it with some nice material. So I'm gonna see what I can get out of that. But and Dad's still working away over there. <laughs> All right.
Alrighty then, Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap back at the spot. Went out and hung out with uh, Terrence and his dad Jim yesterday. Great day, guys. Great day. Um, Jim, you're you're just a top-notch dad. <laughs> that, that's just the way I'm gonna say it. But anyway, I'm gonna focus. As you know, I've done this spot down in here, and I worked some bedrock down there. Um, cracking it apart, cracked all this apart. We cleaned this out, cleaned this crevice out right here. But I'm gonna focus right in here, right in this area. Got a lot of big rocks, low pressure zone, nice drop point, tailing end of an inside bend. Um, hung that big piece that she got. So here I am here, and straight up would be over there. But she found that big piece like right in here somewhere. right up in here right in this area so this is uh, definitely pretty much in line slightly more this way so I'm gonna go ahead I mean you can see these big rocks and they drop right off into that hole that I'm gonna work I've already started to prep it pull out some big rocks that seems to be a fairly decent pocket right there and it's all bedrock I might have to take a walk back to the van and get my suction hand dredge um, I won't run it right into the trap because I've, it's too far away. But or tomorrow I plan on coming back. I could do that tomorrow. But I mean, there's <laughs> there's bedrock to be cracked all through here. Not so much these pieces. There's a nice crack right there, as you can see. But over in here. But I'm not too sure about further that way. So I'll just have to do some testing. There's some over in here. Um, I can see Hung has worked her way back even further and done some up in here as well. She's been working this area. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get myself set up. And of course I found, I found, I don't know, after I got done, probably a good 45, 50 pieces out of that little hole right there off from that big rock. And of course that rock right there is a nice runway, a ramp and then low pressure zone it drops in there hits that rock and slides down in so I'm gonna go ahead and get set up like I said and see what I can come up with out of this area right here there's gotta be I mean even if it's small gold there's gold in here the question is how deep is the bedrock and how much was it washing out so we've just gotta get our hands dirty get a little wet and see what we get ha. All right, we'll catch in a little bit. And, and Hung, of course, she saw me, and she said she was going to make me some kimchi. I got a jar of kimchi this morning. Ha, awesome. <laughs> awesome, but she, she said she might come down. So uh, uh, Jerry's not here. I'm surprised. But time to get set up, get to work. Talk to you in a bit. So I've already done two runs. I did this area right here. In between, there's like a little V in there that lines up with this over there. I cleaned that out. I got about 10, 13 pieces and nothing really big. I mean, yeah, that was 30 plus in there, um, but more so small stuff. So then I moved farther back up in here and forced water up in there, cracked out. There was some bedrock that could be cracked along in here. Cracked that out, rinsed it in a bucket. Had my bucket sitting right over here. And then I started throwing water up in there and cleaning out bigger rocks and just throwing stuff in the bucket. And not even a half, not quite, almost a half of a five gallon bucket of material. Not quite though. Not too bad. And that piece right there is chunky. Nice. Clink. <laughs> Not bad at all. Oh, Hong's coming. Wave. <laughs> Wave. <laughs> 
coming down to see. I just did, right underneath this rock hung. Yeah. Right up underneath here. Uh -huh. Not even a half of a five gallon bucket of material. Oh, that look. Yep. How are you getting that no sand in there? Huh? I'm not getting that up there, no. Yeah. Maybe I go a bit right to there, you think? Yeah, I was going to do that spot at some point, but you can. Oh, I can move up there. So I'm going to shut this off because I see my battery's dying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I just asked Tung if she minded if I come in here and do some cleanup detail. I'm going to take water and flush this and get as much material as I can. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so this time it's about a little over half, close to three quarters full. And I did dig it up in that area up in there. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and run it. If my battery dies, I started with an empty stuffer bottle today, so when I get home, I'll show you what I got for the day. Alright, so another day. Um, I said yesterday was the 28th, I think. It's only the 24th. It was the 23rd. <laughs> Forgive me, my eyes are getting bad. I couldn't see the screen right. The three looked like an eight or a nine. So today's the 24th, and that's what I got yesterday. A couple nice little pickers in there. Not as good as I've been doing, but I'm not complaining. Still good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get busy and see what I can get today. And Jerry's here today, down working in his spot. And Hung will be here at some point. I saw her when I was on my way in. So let's get busy. Let's go take Jerry's gold. He keeps trying to take mine. Every time I show him gold, he pulls a snuffer bottle out and tries to steal it. <laughs> He's trying to collect some. <laughs> How you doing so far? Actually, the last pan I had 11 pieces in. Oh yeah. You know, small pieces, but 11 pieces. Yeah. That's a lot. You know. And you're digging closer up and, yeah, to the bank. Right along here. Yeah. Yeah. Good low pressure zone. Yep. Eventually, that tree is going to come down. That'll be the next one across the river. Who was it? Brad. That's who it is. <laughs> Tazzy Adventures. He says, you wouldn't catch me working under that tree. Well, I'm a bit nuts there, Brad. <laughs> That's what gold will do to you. Nah, but it ain't going anywhere. Gold's as long as... holding the tree up. Yeah. Jerry says gold's holding the tree up. <laughs> well, if that's the case, I need to dig where the trunk is. So we'll go up and take a look at... Uh, what I've got so far, I probably got about a quarter of a bucket of material of cracking uh, bedrock up here. That uh, picker I got yesterday came out of right here and from cracking the bedrock. So now I'm over here and I've cracked this stuff here and removed a bunch and of course got about a quarter of a bucket but I just moved this piece. Just wanted to give you a look at the material that's sandwiched in between these. So I'm going to test this area, but there's more even further over right in here and some up in there. But I mean, Hung, she found that bigger piece out here, but that doesn't mean there's no gold up here. I mean, like Jerry's working down there and closer to the bank. He's, you know, he's finding gold but it's smaller so my picker came out here a little bit further over and then a little bit further over still so we'll see what happens um, I know there's gonna be cold in this gravel bar but look at the I mean this is just so bony and big boulders big boulders up through here but 
It can be worked. It can be worked. Put a back brace on, some knee pads, put a helmet on. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get back to work here. Get ready to shovel some material in the trap. Alright, end of the day and I am whooped and I didn't really do that great today. Um, that's yesterday's gold in that pan and this is today's and it's not bad. I didn't get skunked and I'm not going to complain. It all adds up. But, for any of you rock hounds, if anybody comes to my channel, any rock hounds. I'd like to know what this is. Really, really red, especially if it's wet. Very interesting. And it's fairly heavy. be nice if it was corundum because that would be the ruby but I'm not sure I have no clue I'm keeping it so I'll add the uh, yesterday's gold in with this and show you what I get from both days put together alright so that's yesterday and today together I've done probably twice as much as that in a day here. I mean, the spot that I'm standing in was like phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal spot right here. I got a lot of gold out of this. But, I'm picking that apart up in there. That water's still really red. And I abandoned that probably about two hours ago. Up underneath those rocks. In this channel right here, there's a V. And in there, this one here I sucked out with the suction hand dredge. Not a pretty much. And I did good there. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Did good there yesterday. But apparently I got most of it. It was stuck to the rocks. So I just been farting around up in here in different spots. I tried in here. Tried getting that thing out of there, but it's wedged in pretty good. I got it to wiggle, but there's a lot of weight to it on the back side. But I did get another big piece out of here, and a couple big pieces out of here. Didn't do too bad in that. Uh, went downstream, tested that gravel bar way down there, that big gravel bar. Did some testing on that. I know there's going to be gold in that, but that's going to be a lot of work. And there's a reason why. There's an old channel just before it on this side of the river and when Irene came through it ripped through there so once again this flow it was running that was running into this flow here and causing everything to go around so there's going to be gold in that gravel bar down there quite a bit of it but once again a lot of work there's nowhere to set up down there so it's going to be classify and haul buckets but there's gold all along this side good spot but I am tired my back is a bit sore a lot of bending over so I'm packing up and I'm leaving take care